is the 2024 Genesis GV70 Sports Prestige 2.5T all-wheel drive in Makalu gray over obsidian black. We have every option that you can tick whenever you're optioning the luxury, but is this going to be enough of a sport drive? I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rods, and I'm gonna go over the pros and cons and the problem that I have with the GV70. 7.3 inches of clearance is going to be one of the best in class when we're considering a sport luxury vehicle. Quad LED headlights, daytime runnings, which set the signature touch for the Genesis line. The grill gets an active grill shutter with the gloss black elements surrounding it is going to get the smoke gloss black and the lower trim gets the gloss black that just makes it more athletic. Front and rear parking sensors with the 360 degree reverse camera because we have the advanced package. When you start ticking the box for all of these features, it will escalate the price to the 3.5 twin turbo V6. But what we have housed underneath here is the 2.5 turbocharged inline four cylinder that produces 300 horsepower and 311 pound feet of torque paired to an eight speed automatic transmission, achieving 19 MPGs for the city, 26 MPGs for the highway. When you're thinking all wheel drive, it's actually sipping fuel for the performance that you're getting because it is the best in class with horsepower and torque. And because we have the sports prestige package, we get these 21 inch sport design wheels, Genesis badging for the brake caliper, housing two pistons in the front, gloss black elements are going to surround the lower skirt. But what I like about Genesis is how they pay attention to detail. In the front bumper, you'll notice on the side trim, you get the grill pattern. That carries on into the rear that brushes into the dual exhaust outlets, which one of the most sporty exits in class. And because of that sports prestige package, we also received the Smart Park Assist. And now to use the feature, you just simply lock the car, you hold the remote start, it's gonna obviously start, push the P forward, and the vehicle will engage going forward in a straight position. And you can do the same thing for reverse. So just hold the back arrow for the park and it will go back straight as well. It's a cool feature if you are trying to scare somebody or impress somebody because the vehicle can move by itself simply by pushing the button. Whether you use the feature or not, I kind of like that you still have it because you're not going to get a similar feature to the rivals. You'll also receive the digital key because of that package and towing up to 3,500 pounds because this is all wheel drive. In the rear, the signature quad LED tail lights and the bumper sits up more so. So even if you're thinking about Infiniti, Acura, Lexus, Volvo, Genesis puts itself in another class because it's competing head on with the Germans with performance and luxury. Power lift gate going into 28.9 cubic feet of storage. The rear sits up a little bit, but there isn't any lip. 12 volt charger, a storage nook, bag holders on both sides, and you split fold the rear bench in the back. So it makes it a lot more easier increasing cargo to 56.9 cubic feet. This is a 2.5 turbo. We need to go inside, start it up so you can hear that exhaust note. Leather red will be the base trim, but because we have the advanced package, we're gonna get leather seat settings and surfaces with 16-way power seat adjustment for the driver, 12-way power seat adjustment for the passenger. Ergo motion is going to be like a massage for the driver, heated and ventilated seats, memory for the driver. Headroom and leg room. The GV70 has plenty of space. We have the brush aluminum inlays, a 14.5 touch screen with navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. And when you put it into reverse, we have a 360 degree reverse camera with full trajectory, which the advanced package adds. When you click here, you have the 3D view that can go all around the vehicle.
dual climate control settings with a heated steering wheel, leather wrap steering wheel, perforated on the sides, cross stitch with the paddle shifts, and we have a 12.3 3D digital gauge cluster that can go through an array of information for the driver. And the best feature, when you use your indicators, because it's a full digital reader, it's going to go on both sides. So you don't necessarily have to use the blind spot monitoring. And when you change the driving modes, it will change out the gauge cluster design. Working into the center with a wireless charging pad, USB ports, and the key fob for the GV70. The rotary knob up front is designed for the infotainment. This is to put it into gear or to engage it. The driving mode select is here and for your volume and turn on and off the audio sound system. It is more sporty, but it opens up with a 12 volt and a little storage tier that you could pull in and out. And on this side, you're gonna notice there's no pass-through, which is a con because there's a lot of real estate here. I do like the aluminum pattern. I just wish they would optimize more storage. The door panel integrates into the dashboard, keeping a sporty style with the auto dimming rear view mirror and a large pano moon roof. Going into the Lexicon upgraded sound system, one touch up and down for all the windows and you get that aluminum trim yet again, soft to touch where it needs to be and a long storage pocket. For the back seats, headroom and these recline. So you have a sufficient amount cup holders with armrests. The Prestige package gives us the third climate control, air vents, USB ports, home plug, storage behind both of the front seats, and when you're sitting on the passenger side or behind the passenger, you can adjust this seat up. So it makes it a little bit easier for people sitting into the center or just simply sitting behind them. Manual sunshades also come part of that package, and the door is going to have the same materials found as the front except the pocket is going to be a little bit smaller for storage. Sitting into the center is not too bad. You will be sharing some feet, leg, butt, and shoulder space. You will sit up a little bit higher in the center, but headroom is still doable for anyone over six foot tall. Now this is the 2.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder with 300 horsepower and 311 pound feet of torque. Like I was saying on the exterior, it's still the best in class at even the base engine variant. They do offer a 3.5 twin turbo V6 with 375 horsepower. It's a lot faster and you're going to see some of the differences if you've already watched that compared to this. One thing right off the bat is it does feel a little bit more heavy with this engine variant. Whereas the V6 twin turbo, it feels a little bit more lively and a little bit more athletic. So you can kind of get on it a little bit more so. With this, it has a touch of hesitation, but we're going to see how she does. And the nice thing about the Genesis is it's not that long of a vehicle. So you can get in and out of lanes. So it's kind of compact and small. The steering is nice and light. So you have that artificial feel for the everyday drive. When you use your indicators, because we have every feature you can tick, you can see in the gauge cluster where the vehicles are through the camera. So safety is taken care of, visibility is good. You sit up a little bit higher in this. I dislike that they take away power seat adjustments and the ergo motion seat for the passenger. That is something that, because we're in this luxury line and Genesis is going that extra step, I would have liked to see them go all the way. The drive is smooth though, even with 21 inch wheels. Sound deadening is good. You have acoustic front windows and side windows. and the hood bulges where it keeps that sport feel alive. And that's gonna take me to my pros and cons. Starting off with my pros, this is the best value for sport and luxury blend. I typically go Infinity, but it lacks the sport feel and the drive to it where you can capture that in the Genesis line. It's driver focus, which leads me to a con. I like the touch sensitive for the dual climate control. It's just stationed more towards me where it kind of pushes the passenger out. Turn radius at a stop point is about two and a part lane. Sport Plus, here we go.
it's still quick. I prefer the twin turbo V6, but that's just because I like having that extra power. And the big problem that I have, there's still too many buttons everywhere. I like that we have physical buttons, but they have it for every single feature and you still have it for the infotainment screen in which it can feel like you're in an airplane. Even the way these rotary knobs are, I can see people that are tall like me having issues thinking that the actual rotary knob to engage in the infotainment screen is going to put it into gear and it's not. And you're like, oh man because it's lower and then where you rest your arm you're constantly on there so it doesn't have an area to really rest unless you put your arm back in which if you're short then you're resting on the actual rotary knobs so cleaning that up maybe taking some of these noises that you hear from the ergo motion because you'll hear the motor running make it a little bit more silent when we're going full luxury, we're expecting to have a smooth ride, quiet drive, okay MPGs with some performance behind it. They tick the box for everything. And when you use the massage seat function, listen to the motor. You can hear it. When you're going after the German rivals, Mercedes, BMW, Audi, you can't hear their massage setup. Plus, when I'm going into Genesis opposed to Kia and Hyundai, I'm expecting to get things like a 360 degree reverse camera, a wireless charger, a pano moon roof, a lot of power seat adjustments. I don't necessarily want to tick the box for every single feature so I can get those. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Check out the next video, merchandise, website, and Instagram. Leave a comment and a like. And I'd like to thank Genesis of Newport Ritchie for giving us this 2024 Genesis GV70 for our car review.